Do 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 do. How did you spend the day, tattooed uh, monkey? Oh, I did uh, advanced capture one tethering with my GFX camera. Some uh, some of the advanced options and things to do in Capture One uh, tethered with my GFX. Here for the U New Year 2019, this is what's what will be coming. First in Nikon seat, we have the new Nikon D6. I don't know any parameters other than dual uh, CF Express cards. The new, uh, the superior to the XQD cards, the Compact Flash Express cards. So there's a new Nikon D6. There's a new Nikon D760 coming. Um, basically the autofocus uh, capabilities of the D850 along with the sensor and uh, body stylings of the Nikon D750. I guarantee you that no matter how cheap they sell that camera it will be a flop. And I express the reasons, the countless reasons why it will be a flop in uh, the, the prior video. So that's um, it uh, for Nikon D6 and Nikon D750. For Fujifilm, I know that the X-T30, the successor to the X-T20, is coming out, um, I think, uh, sometime before May. I think it's going to be announced here in a month or two, so the X-T30. I know the X-Pro3 is coming this year. The X-Pro3, and I think everybody also obviously knows that the 100 megapixel uh, $10,000 GFX 100 will be dropping. Um, it's been mentioned that it has uh, dual joysticks on the back, what the second joystick is for. I don't know. I've got a few guesses, but I don't want to speculate on that. So those are three excellent cameras from Fujifilm, the GFX 100 megapixel, the X-Pro3 that everybody apparently has been waiting for, and the uh, X-T30. Uh, obviously, Sony's going to pump out uh, two more overheating turd muffins that are uh, completely unexciting a lifeless uh, zombie of some variety that uh, overheats and uh, has extremely poor menus and user interface. <laughs> Tell me how much you hate me for saying that. Um, I'm supposed to get excited about Panasonic's new uh, offerings. Why should I? You know, if uh, once I see the interface, of course Panasonic, I got a lot of respect for Panasonic, but I don't know what they're going to come out with. I mean, you know, where's the lenses? What, what is it that I'm supposed to be impressed by on Panasonic? Um, really? Uh, Canon, once again, I'm going to speculate on this one, is uh, going to uh, um, shoot blanks like an old man with a vasectomy. <laughs> I said that. They're going uh, to aim high and uh, shoot low, if at all. They're going to come out with... Uh, a completely new camera that should have come out four years ago. <laughs> so sorry. You know it's true. You know it's true. I actually would have bought that new uh, mirrorless uh, Canon if it wasn't such a stinking POS. Um, the lenses that they introduced for it are, albeit obnoxiously expensive are seemingly quite incredible. So they came out with these incredible new lenses for a shitty new camera. Congratulations to you, Canon. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Um, just excellent. Uh, so that's what we'll have in store for 2019. Fujifilm. Fujifilm uh, blew everybody's uh, crotch off last year for 2018. And they did the year before that, a much smaller company than Sony or Canon or Nikon. Fujifilm blew everybody away last year for sure. X-T3, GFX 50R. Um, um, as I said in the prior video, if the Nikon D6 is awesome, I will be the absolute first person to scream it from the highest mountaintops that the camera is just silk, sex, and sugar, and that everybody should snap one up. So... I don't know where all this crap came from about me being a Nikon hater, you know, so especially since I've given more money to Nikon than anybody watching this video. Way more money over the years. Um, love Nikon a lot, but I'm not going to praise their stupidity, especially their corporate ethos. Nikon's corporate ethos is uh, somewhere between Mr. Burns from The Simpsons and the fat 
prick with uh, polished uh, shoes on an upper echelon nosebleed story of a really tall building at IBM corporate. The whole, we're too big to fail, you know, puffing on a large Cuban cigar and uh, looking down at all the piss ants below that are worship worshiping him. Nikon has been like that for decades. That's not my opinion. Anybody that's familiar with Nikon will tell you that he's like, yep, that's exactly what Nikon's like. So Nikon, you did it to yourself. Your corporate ethos of being an absolute hardcore polished prick is uh, finally, your, your, what's the old saying goes, your, uh, your roosters, what is it, your chickens have come home to roost. Congratulations to you, Nikon. Um, but I'll be the first person in, you know, I'm, I, Nikon, by the way, I, I sold God knows how many thousands of D500s. God knows how many thousands of D850s. And God knows how many thousands of your lenses, so don't give me this Nikon hater, hater crap. Because uh, I actually like Nikon. Uh, I just don't like the company. Because they have their head up their butt. Uh, big time have their head up their butt. So that's it for me. That's what we have in store for the year uh, 2019 from the major camera companies. I absolutely am sitting here on the edge of my seat with bated breath for... Sony's next overheating turd muffin. Um, got uh, 10 pounds of poo in a 5 pound bag and people wonder why it uh, won't stop overheating. And uh, Hey Sony, when are you going to fix the ergonomics on your horrible cameras? And when are you going to fix the menus, the this disgusting, horrific menus, counterintuitive, you know, dyslexic uh, fool designed menus? You know, everybody kind of wonders about that. You know, it's not nice when you actually put your hands around a Sony camera and you mount a lens on it. It doesn't matter what lens. And it tears the skin off your knuckles. The idiots that design Sony's uh, ergos on their cameras are mental midgets. They are retards in the extreme. Congratulations, Sony. You have the worst ergonomics of any camera in the industry. You suck. Was that too over the top? I hope it wasn't. Thank you. Los Vidanyu, Uvidimsa, Snovum Gordum, Aloha, Hasta Luega, and peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.